What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Renton Review Pro Wrestling, and this is a news break. So, once again, we have a lot of uh, people going to AEW from WWE because WWE released a whole bunch of people. And, yeah, coming up tonight on AEW Dynamite, you will see the debut of yet another former WWE talent. The Brian Kendrick apparently will be making his debut, and this has been confirmed by AEW on Twitter, on tonight's AEW Dynamite show, taking on another former WWE star, the first major WWE star to jump to AEW when they were officially a company, and that will be John Moxley. Which should be a really entertaining match because Brian Kendrick, or sorry, the Brian Kendrick, is one of the better wrestlers. You know, the people can call him a good hand or whatever, but he's wrestled some pretty damn good matches in the past. Anybody who's seen him knows uh, what the guy can do. So him and Moxley should be interesting. There's also some ties there to the Brian Danielson story because Danielson and Kendrick came up together when they both started wrestling. So there's some feeling that that's going to be moved along. And as we are getting closer now, because we're in February, we're about a month away from the Revolution show. It's prob I think it is the next big AEW show. I expect them to start really promoting Revolution starting tonight on Dynamite, which will probably lead to some of the more exciting booking as we head into what they're going to be doing for that show. So I expect tonight's AEW Dynamite from Chicago, already a stat card featuring MJF and CM Punk headlining it, is going to have a lot more surprises than we can expect right now. Another one of those surprises might be Karrion Cross, who's now gone back to his original name of Killer Cross, and he put out an Instagram message where he was talking about at midnight things were going to change and he wasn't going to come back as a nice guy. He thanked everybody for uh, his time in NXT and WWE and hopefully that he, you know, provided some entertainment for us over the pandemic era, which, you know, that's a really cool thing to say, but he's put out a video like most wrestlers who leave WWE do. They put out a video. His looks very much like Mox's old video from a few years ago, but him possibly being in the House of Black or being on his own or showing up in some way, shape, or form uh, on AEW is a big possibility. Now, a lot of people are asking about contract statuses and whatnot. I don't think all of these people are going to be getting contracts. I don't know if Brian Kendrick's going to get a contract because remember, AEW does have an open door policy where you know many of these people, like we've seen in the past with people they bring in, like Juventud Guerrera, uh, you know, Leo Rush was only in there for like a three month contract and certain other guys have come in and come out for one offs or, you know, temporary stays. You know, a lot of New Japan guys, Minoru Suzuki, Satoshi Kojima, Tomohiro Ishii, you know, none of those guys are under contract with AEW, but they can show up for a decent payday on an AEW show. That might be the same thing with Kendrick here. Uh, Keith Lee, of course, is also now officially away from his no compete clause so i i i think of all the people right now available from that roster that got cut i think keith lee is at the top of the list of people that all of us want to see go to aew especially you know because aew still got the controversy with the black wrestler issue that was started by big swole and leo rush and all this other stuff so a lot of people are hoping for keith lee to come in there because you know, we can see whether or not it is an issue in AEW because somebody like Keith Lee coming in should be an almost instant main eventer and we're going to just have to see about that. But again, we got a stacked cards. We got two stacked cards really this weekend because Jay Lethal will be taking on Ricky Starks this coming Friday on Rampage. So there's a lot happening in AEW this week. And I expect things to ramp up pretty big time. Meanwhile, over in WWE, there's still news reports coming about all the chaos from the Royal Rumble. We got news reports that Shane McMahon was involved with the booking. And then he wanted to book himself as the winner. And he booked himself to be in the Final Four, which was pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> God, Jesus Christ. Uh, we had other people booking the women's Royal Rumble. Triple H apparently was, in the past couple of years, has been in charge of all the big surprises which is probably why some of the booking was all for the Rumble matches. There's a lot of craziness going on behind the scenes in WWE, but once again, does it really matter? I mean, it matters to us, but we don't watch WWE on a weekly basis, so we're not the audience that they're really geared to. For the audience that they're geared to who doesn't care, they just want to see a big, loud show with a lot of colorful lights and explosions. 
and for the investors they don't care and for all of their sponsorship partnerships and the tv deals they don't care so the chaos behind the scenes in, in wwe while it sounds like a lot of nuttiness to us it sounds like a company that's imploding Nothing can be farther from the truth. WWE, as far as a business, is going to be just fine. They'll have their audience. They'll have their ratings. They'll have their money. They'll have their contracts and their Saudi Arabia deal. So, you know, again, like I always say, look, if you're not interested in WWE and you think it's a bunch of mess over there, which it is, we have AEW. So there's no real need to be really concerned about it. A WWE going to WWE. Now, as for the plans going forward, it is they did put some wrinkles in it because they did have a confrontation on Monday night between Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey when a lot of the news is that Ronda is going to challenge Charlotte for the championship at WrestleMania. But what I'm starting to think is that they may be doing something a little bit different with both the men's and women's championships because of the confrontation between Becky and Ronda and as weird and awkward as it was when I watched it on YouTube. It may suggest that since she said she's going to Charlotte, challenge Charlotte, that maybe we might be in for another triple threat match to unify the women's titles. And possibly, because there's rumors that Brock Lesnar might be going after his confrontation with Bobby Lashley, he's going to be in the Elimination Chamber. That's official now. Or sorry, the WrestleMania Chamber, or whatever they're going to call it in Saudi Arabia. Elimination Chamber is just a terrible name for that in Saudi Arabia. But anyway, uh, for Brock Lesnar going into the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship at the Saudi Arabia show, if he wins, he says he's going to be in a unification match against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. So there is somewhat of a possibility, kind of an outside chance that maybe WWE might be shaking things up and unifying those titles both the men's and women's championships, which I think would make sense. Because right now, even looking at the uh, Royal Rumble, and given the, the amount of stars that they don't have on a roster anymore, and the fact that Becky Lynch was defending against Dewdrop and the match wasn't really much of anything, Charlotte had no challengers at the Royal Rumble, it seems to me that there might be too many championships with having both brands, SmackDown and Raw, having their own individual quote-unquote company championships and maybe one company championship would be better for all instead of having four company championships split between the genders but only time will tell i don't know if that's where they're going there is a possibility for that but hearing all the backstage rumors coming out about wwe and the booking plans and the craziness going on behind there who knows what they're doing i don't think they know what they're doing i don't think god knows what wwe is doing as far as its plans right now but i want to know what you guys think about some of this news let your voice be heard in the comment box below are you interested in tonight's mega aew dynamite show and the debut of the brian kendrick in aew taking on john moxley what do you think about shane mcmahon and all the booking problems for the royal rumble and going forward and do you think they are possibly going to a wrestlemania where they're going to unify the men's and women's singles championships let your voice be heard in the comment box below until then i will see you guys here for more news rumors and commentary right here on the ransom review pro wrestling have a good day